What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel, Farrell's Wildlife Kingdom. In today's episode, we are going to be talking about the Florida King Snake. So we're going to go ahead and cover the personality information and uh, some of the care that you're going to have with this snake. So the Florida King Snake is obviously native to Florida, and these guys are definitely well adapted to all kinds of Florida environments. Swamps, farms, woods, the Everglades, sometimes even closer to residential areas. Wherever this guy can find food is going to be an area where he may end up actually being. So let me go ahead and introduce you to my Florida King Snake. This is Suki, and Suki's about three and a half to four feet long now. So again, being a king snake, he does have the ability to eat other snakes. Interestingly, he is actually immune to most snake venoms here in Florida. The only one he's not immune to is the coral snake. But if he wants to go ahead and try to eat a cottonmouth, um, an eastern diamondback rattlesnake, or a copperhead, he's more than capable of doing so and actually doing it safely. Out in the wild, these guys are going to be eating other snakes, lizards, birds, and of course rodents. Here we feed them about two or three rat pups a week. So you guys can see Suki absolutely loves eating his rat pups. It's always exciting to watch these guys eat. Now you guys will see this snake has absolutely no problem swallowing this rodent completely whole. Now these snakes can be found at night and during the day hunting. It all just depends on what is really motivating their prey drive at the time. Now being a snake from Florida, they do like to have warmer, more humid environment. So if you guys go ahead and take a look at his enclosure, we do have a habitat for him that simulates the Florida environment. He's got a hide on the left side, Repta bark as a substrate, a couple of branches in there. He's got his water bowl on the right side, a little bit of moss, and some leaves. Now Florida for the most part is very humid, so I definitely like to go ahead and spray his tank every so often to give him that humidity. For lighting, he has two lamp fixtures, one for day, one for night. Being a 40 gallon tank, I supply him with a 75 watt day bulb and a 50 watt bulb for the night. In the warmest part of the tank during the day, he's going to have a temperature of about 88, 89 degrees. In the cooler areas of the tank, it's going to be closer to 82 degrees. Now this snake is in the family Colubridae and is actually one of the larger ones. And this snake is in the genus Lampropeltis. If taken care of properly, this snake can live a little over 20 years. Suki is about six and a half years old. As far as predators, out in the wild, these snakes have to worry about alligators, birds of prey, raccoons, foxes, indigo snakes, and even larger king snakes. Florida king snake will start to hit sexual maturity at about three years of age. Breeding for these guys takes place in March and in April. They'll usually lay their eggs in May or June, and the incubation usually lasts anywhere between 55 to 80 days. On average, these snakes will lay anywhere between 6 to 25 eggs, sometimes even a little bit more. Now in my personal opinion, most king snakes make great pets, however they are very prey motivated so they do like to eat a lot, be careful when sticking your hand in the tank, they may think that you're trying to feed them. Again other than that though, these guys are great to have, They're, um, they can be very great to handle. As you can see, they like to move around quite a bit so if he's on display like ours are here, they're definitely nice to observe. Now a decent amount of furniture in the tank is great because uh, this snake does actually like to burrow and he does actually like to climb so I like to provide him with whatever he, whatever he chooses to kind of do for the day. 
So if you guys take a close look, visually they are absolutely beautiful to look at. He's got almost this pixelated checkered board kind of pattern all over his body and it just looks absolutely beautiful. Now you will notice constant tongue flicking, constant movement, great body proportions, all signs of a healthy snake. This snake is a constrictor, so he will wrap around its prey, asphyxiate it, and eventually swallow it whole. Now, signs to look for if the snake is a little upset or scared, maybe nervous, uh, they do tend to musk. They will sometimes rattle their tail and sometimes rear up in a nest position and start to hiss. But if you're holding them with respect and you're approaching them with respect and you're there to kind of let the snake know you're not there to feed and you are not there to grab and try to make any quick movements to scare him, for the most part, you're going to be just fine. Now, if you plan on purchasing a king snake of any kind, uh, most of the sellers will allow you to handle the snake or show you how their personality is like before you go ahead and purchase, which is a great thing because some people don't want a snake that's going to go ahead and try to bite them all the time. But most of the snakes born in captivity are usually a lot more docile, and, um, but again, most. They're not all. So you definitely want to uh, check and see for yourself if they allow you to or if possible. So I love taking this snake with me for wildlife demonstrations here in Florida because he is native to Florida. I think it's very important for people to know the wildlife that actually lives around them. Now if you guys enjoyed this episode, you learned something new and uh, you want to support my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also give it a thumbs up and that about wraps it up. So you guys, thank you all for joining me and have a great day.